please come in. Thank you. Hello and welcome to my cooking channel. This is Kelly Stampino. Today I'm going to be generous or as the Americans say philanthropic and show you, give my knowledge, how to make the world's greatest tiramisu. Before I begin, please subscribe to the Stampino channel so that you can follow the playlist otherwise known as Kelly's Food Stops. Thank you. Now we can continue. Earlier today, when I was deep in my Italian thoughts, thinking of how to make the great tiramisu video, I knew I couldn't just go around the corner to Ralph's Market. No. I had to go back home to Italy. I am obviously very rich, very rich Italian pastry chef. However, I am on the budget because now I live in Los Angeles, so I went to Italy instead. Did not have money for a ticket to Italy. I dug high and low to find the freshest ingredients I could. I had to make the trip rather quick because, you know, I have great rapport in Italy, so people might recognize me in the store and take a picture and I just... Anyway, I got the shopping done. It was very expensive actually. So these were the ingredients that I got. Two cups of mascarpone. The quantity of five farm fresh eggs. You can also do this without the egg, but you know, I'm not vegan, whatever. Five tablespoons of je sugar. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. You also need four espresso shots. However, I do not have an espresso machine. I know I'm very rich, like I said, but I am on a budget and I did not want to buy a machine today. So I went to the cafe in Italy and asked for four espresso shots. I went and obtained lady fingers. I did not cut them off in actual lady. I watch law and order SVU. I'm very, very respectful of ladies and their finger parts. In the course, the most important part, the cacao puzzle, otherwise known as cocoa powder for you Americans watching. If you're wondering what am I doing here, this is a special technique only used by professionals. In Italy, I'm separating the egg whites from the yolk and putting them in two separate bowls. All right, now I have successfully segregated the egg whites from the egg colored, so I am just spicing it up with some sugar. And I'm going to add some mascarpone. However, the mascarpone is very hard, so I warmed it up here. I am warming it up with my hands and my heart, and I'm going to put that directly into my mixture. Then I'm going to hand blend it together, and this is the first part of making my tiramisu mousse. <laughs> According to the recipe I'm following on Italy.com, I need to revisit my egg whites, the privileged egg whites, and I'm going to apparently whisk this, but I cannot find my whisk, so let's see if I can achieve this without one first. Okay, this is not working, so I'm actually going to find my blender in my kitchen because my wrist was about to break off. Ugh, I don't know how men honestly jerk off at this rate, this is insane. So I have my hand blender ready to go and this is going to speed up the process. However, this is where I might have screwed up because the egg whites came out kind of like egg mousse. All right, so according to the recipe, I need to put the egg white mixture into the mystery yellow mixture and this is going to be the tiramisu mousse. According to it, I need to fold it in. I don't know what that means. Like fold, what, what the fuck does that mean? Like folding laundry. So this is what my interpretation is of folding. In a separate bowl, I need to get my heavy whipping cream and whip it together using the hand blender. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the moment when I realized I had made tiramisu instead of tiramisu. But you know me, I am Kelly Stamps, I don't like to give up. I moved to New York two and a half times to realize that I fucking hate it. So I'm going to continue, finish what I started. So I'm going to grab the lady fingers, I'm going to gently dip it into the 
espresso mixture on the side, which you will soon realize is not enough actually to satisfy all these lady fingers. So I ended up with some dry lady fingers and this whole thing just went south and I'm just gonna lose the accent because this ended up being so bad, honestly. I don't even know what's happening here. I'm just trying my best, but these look like the life rafts in the middle of the ocean in the Titanic that all the rich people got into when they left all the poor people behind to die. So I'm running out of coffee, clearly. I'm just giving up at this point. I'm just gonna throw them in. It's just gonna be crunchy tiramisu. Ugh. I followed the exact recipe from Italy's website, and this is what it was supposed to look like. And this is what I have. So I don't know what went wrong. Maybe I should have put the eggs over a simmer or something. I gave up at this point. I'm starving. I was super excited to eat this the entire day. I didn't even eat. So now I am angrily driving to Carl's Jr. for chicken stars. And yes, I'm eating meat now because I'm pissed. Could I have the six piece chicken stars meal, size medium? All right, thank you. My pleasure. I was trying to make tiramisu. I fucked up. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a pastry chef. I should just die alone with 20 cats and never try to make anything again. But that's not who I am. I woke up the next day with a brand new attitude. I went back to Italy for the same exact round of groceries for part two. And you are going to notice in two seconds that I have a fresh set of eyelashes on. Why? Because I got asked to the Marine Corps ball, which is interesting and I'm super excited, but we'll talk about that later. So I went back to Italy for the same groceries. I went home and I got to work. I am not playing around this time. And you see, I'm not including the egg mixture because fuck those eggs. They were being problematic. I am just using heavy whipping cream. I am going to simply blend this together with the mascarpone with some sugar. And this is going to be the mixture. All that other stuff, that was just crazy. I don't have time for that.
this recipe ended up being so much easier, so much quicker, and honestly, it tasted even better without the egg. This is the result, and I slept next to my tiramisu, took many photos with it, and had a grand day. Thank you for watching.